Welcome back to another exciting video from Planner 5D. Today, we're diving deep into the world of renders. To show your all updates, I will need to open my project. I'm switching to 3D mode, and here we are. You see my full project. Let's take a look a little bit closer. So here we are in the living room. First of all, I am setting my camera and then I go to the menu, choosing a camera icon. Clicking on a realistic render, then we see different formats 16, 9, 4, 3, 1, 1. These formats could be used for different purposes, from portfolio to Instagram posts. Then we are moving to resolutions. Here we see Draft HD, Full HD, Quad HD, and 4K. An interesting part is how draft resolution could be used. If you do not have a lot of purchased renders, in this case, you should try the draft before, so you will see what it looks like. Do you need to change something or not? Also, it works for newbies who just started to use renders. By the way, for pro users, the number of renders is unlimited. Moving next, you see arrows. Clicking on them, you can set the camera, put it lower or higher. On the right down corner, you see the button save. Now you do not need to set up a camera every time you are working in the editor. You can just save several views, which you are going to use in the future. Put a name and save it. For example, I created several views for the living room, master bedroom, wardrobe, and second bedroom. Let's talk more about settings. First of all, you may turn on the ceiling light. Turning it on, it will help you to make the ceiling light up. Auto brightness, this correction will balance the render colors if the screen is too dark or too bright. Turn off the floor. This feature works if you are using a background. Instead of flooring, you can add grass, for example. Another update is, backgrounds. Now you can choose different backgrounds, depending on your mood or interior design style. Play around them and pick the best option. Also, now we have a setting of sunlight, you can choose the sun position and sun altitude. Check the settings and see how it will work on your future render. If you want to use night mode, then just turn off sunlight. And you will see how the interior will look at night. So we set all settings, let's make renders. We are pressing render and looking at the progress bar. It is easy to understand how long you should wait to have the render done. Then we may click on the open gallery button and see all our results. Here are our final renders. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button and try new renders now. See you soon. Bye.